Hey guys, I'm Tamara Scott. And I'm Simone Davis. And welcome back to Jar Journeys. All right, so here's how it works. Every episode, Tamara and I dive into our mason jars and pick out an activity, a place, and price, and find something that fits under all three. So this week, we got to go on a boat trip in Virginia Beach, and it has to cost 30 bucks. And you know, I think I have a place in mind. So Tamara, I'm going to send you the address, and I'll meet you there. All right, see you later. Hey guys, we are at the Virginia Aquarium and Marine Science Center in Virginia Beach, and we are about to go whale watching. I'm here with Mike Mizell. He is the boat coordinator at the Virginia Aquarium and Marine Science Center. How are you? I'm doing well, thank you. So I have been in Virginia now for about three years and I've never, never experienced whale watching. So tell me, how long have you all been putting these type of trips together? We've been doing this since the mid 80s and doing it every year up to the present. So walk me through it as the guests arrive and they go onto the Atlantic Explorer. Tell me about how it all works. All right, so they uh, check in. They'll come down here on board the boat. There is a heated cabin and they do have snacks for sale. They have sodas, adult beverages. So that's part of the adventure, being out there. You're dressed up in winter. You're out there looking for whales. But you know, when you're out in the cold, you also might get a little hungry too. And then we're going to head out to the ocean through Rudy Inlet. And as we head out, we go through Owls Creek, which is behind us here. And we have a great opportunity to do some bird watching. Today, we're seeing brown pelicans, bald eagles, double crested cormorants. And we move on out to the ocean. And then we uh, really start to uh, start to gaze along the horizons. I really want to see a humpback whale. Right, I'm going to see my dolphin. Bye. Some things that we want to look for would be a you know, when we're looking for whales, is going to be the uh, whale's visible breath or spout. Also, you want to look for some splashing near the surface, and we're also gazing around because looking for birds. Um, a lot of times, these birds will feed in large flocks, diving into the water, and they feed on the same bait fish, the menhaden, that the uh, humpback whales will feed on. So those are some things we're looking for when we get out there. And of course, we're also looking at other sightings as well. Um, sometimes people are a little apprehensive about going out in the ocean. Um, especially when it's cold out. You know, you don't always want to be out when it's cold, but you don't notice the cold when you're out there watching whales and you're watching wildlife. So um, always people who've come back for the first time are just, we always expect to see them again and they tell us well, you, you are going to see us again. Wow, that was a really amazing trip. I am a little bummed I didn't see any dolphins and it was kind of cold, but overall, I'm very impressed. What do you think, Simone? You know, I will say, yeah, it was cold, but that heated cabin, I'm telling you, A1. I 10 out of 10, yes. highly recommend it. Now, if you guys want to go for yourselves and book a trip with the Virginia Aquarium and Marine Science Center, all you got to do is go to wavy.com, click on the Living Local tab. All the info is right there. Until next time, I'm Simone Davis. And I'm Tamara Scott. Peace, Peace out. out. <laughs>